Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the food experience. Today's food experience, barbecue, chicken, cheese steaks with grilled onions, bacon bits. Oh, they're going to be amazing. I just know it. I have like a lot of faith in this. Originally, I saw a video similar to what I'm doing over at the Wall Twins. I'll put a link back to their recipe so you could check it out if you would like to. And uh, that's what gave me the inspiration to do it this way. And uh, without further ado, there is some preparation. I'll go through all of that. And here we go. First, I'm preparing an onion. I'll be making grilled onions in this episode, so I kind of want to get them to a fine dice. There we go, all ready to grill up. Today I'll be using boneless, skinless chicken breasts. These are about one and a quarter pounds. I had these in the freezer for about a half hour to firm them up a little bit. You wanna to try to slice these thin. Next up, I have eight slices of fairly thick cut hardwood smoked bacon. I wanna cut these into thin little strips as well. That's looking pretty good. Next up, pickles. That ought to work for two sandwiches. And basically, I just want to give them kind of a rough chop, you know? The griddle's heated up to about 380 degrees. First, I'm putting on the bacon. You'll have parts that are stuck together from slicing it, but they'll break apart as soon as the fat melts. And try to get it in a single layer. Oh, I love that sizzle. It's been a couple of minutes. Using some bacon up. I know, like I already have bacon grease, but it's just not enough to do what I want to do. So, and I don't want to cook the chicken too hot because it is breast and it's thinly sliced. Putting the chicken on. You also want to try to spread this apart. Once it's spread apart, you want to be really quick about this. There we go. Hit it with some salt. And black pepper. Yeah, bacon's cooking nice and slow. Normally I cook it at 400 degrees and it'd be done by now, but at a lower temperature, it just takes a little longer and that's okay. Chicken's looking like it's ready to be uh, turned over. Hit it with a little more seasoning, some salt and black pepper. I never done this before, so we'll see how this works out. Use both separately. Let's 
here is smelling really good. A little bit more pink in there. Just going to let it go for a quick moment. Oh yeah, bacon's looking really good now. A little more bacon up. Put down some onions. Now that the chicken has cooked all the way, it's a good time to add the barbecue sauce. I'm using Lily's Smoky Barbecue Sauce. Now I'm almost at the tail end of this bottle, but I have a backup. Same thing, but this is their so-called hot version. There we go. Want to get those onions all sauteed up. Starting to look good. And let's mix in the barbecue sauce for that chicken. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's looking good, smelling good. Oh yeah. Okay, move this back aside again. There we go. I can smell that aroma. It smells so good. Putting those aside for a sec. And we're going to make two portions here. Hit them with some provolone cheese. And these brioche buns. Right on top. So let's see what we're looking at here. Oh wow. A little spillage. Wow, that's nice and cheesy. All right, see what I got there? I got onions, bacon, and some pickles. Oh yeah. Hold on. And sandwich number two, I'll see you back at the table. Welcome back everybody. Here I am with this sandwich. It is, um, gosh, I don't know if I could even hold it with these soft brioche buns. The sandwich is so juicy, but wow, what a sandwich. I wanted to use hoagie rolls, but they don't really have them at the store I go to. So, all right, time to dig in. This bread is good. Oh yeah, got my dad here with me. He doesn't want to be on camera. It is good bread, just soft. No, I'd be okay if it wasn't so much in here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of chicken in there. Mm. That's a lot of good flavor there. Between the chicken, the bacon, the pickles, everything adds its own element. And um, bread's nice and soft. Like, I just wish I could pick it up and grind on it, you know, but... It's still really good. So, Dad, what are your thoughts? So great. Taste everything in there. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's well balanced. Yeah, there's like a yeah. good balance to everything. Yes, it is. It tastes great. Taste all the taste comes through with all the different uh -huh. elements. Right. And the provolone. Provolone. <laughs> Gosh. Each one, I would say, it was a little bit more than a half pound of chicken. 
plus uh, the bacon, onions, pickles. Mm. The barbecue sauce is good on there too. You could tell, huh? Oh yeah. I taste everything. Mm -hmm. Very moist. I always got worried with chicken breast, but it. No, I'm very moist. Everything is moist. Yeah, I kept it at a low temperature so that it wouldn't overcook. Let me see if I could try to pick it up now. Now that it's halfway gone. You know, I might have been able to cut it in half first. But didn't really think about that. But wow. Okay, let me try it. It is really moist on this side. Mmm. Goodness. Telling you the chicken, bacon, pickles, grilled onions, barbecue sauce, provolone. What an awesome combo. And again, I got this originally as an idea from the Wall Twins, and I'll put a link to their video in the description of my video. Mm. Still steam coming out. <laughs> Interesting though, the bread's not falling apart, it's just wet. Yeah. One heck of a good sandwich, people. Totally recommend this. Mm. And that's about going to do it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode of barbecued chicken cheesesteaks with grilled onions and bacon. Oh man, it's so good. These sandwiches were so good. Anyhow, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. I got all kinds of good things coming up. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, drop me a line below. I love hearing from you guys. And until next time, have a stellar day. Be excellent. And most of all, remember me. I'm KJ Andio, your food experience host with the most. Y'all take care, and I'll see you next time.